Welcome to fifth grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the multiplying whole numbers by powers of 10 mastery check where you are going to try eight on your own to see if you've mastered this concept. If you're looking for more of an instructional or helpful video, I dropped the link to my instructional video down in the description. So if you're ready for this mastery check though, to see if you know what you're doing, and you haven't done any mastery checks on my channel before, this is how they go. You should have something to write with and something to write on. And when I say pause here in a few seconds, you're going to solve all eight of these problems. When you have them done, go ahead and press play and check your answers with mine. Your goal would be to have six, seven, or eight correct out of the eight. Okay, so hopefully you're ready to write these down. Go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. So I'm assuming you have all eight of those done. Let's go through our answers here. So 45 times 10, remember, we check for how many zeros are in our power of 10 or the exponent, and that's how many zeros we use to push everything to the correct place value. So we have 45 with one zero on the end, 450 for number one. Number two, we have 50 times 100 or 100 times 50. It doesn't matter if your power of 10 comes first or second. So we have a 50 and then we need to put an additional two zeros on the end to get everything to the pl correct place value. 5,000 for number two. Number three, we have 189 with an additional three zeros, 189,000. Number four, we have 10 to the fourth power times seven. So we have seven and we take a look at our exponent, four, so that means we need four zeros to push that seven to the 10,000 spot, the correct place, and we get 70,000. And think, 10 to the fourth power means 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, which is 10,000. And think, 10,000 times seven, 70,000. It makes sense. So number five, we have 90, and we multiply it by 10 to the third, which is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. So we need an additional three zeros, and we get a product of 90,000. Remember, product means answer to a multiplication problem. Number six, 12 to the fourth, or 12 times 10 to the fourth, which is 12 times 10,000, 12 and four zeros. So we get 120,000. Number seven, 475 times 100. So we have two zeros. That means we need to push the four two spots to the left the seven two spots to the left and the five two spots to the left on our place value chart. And we do that by using two placeholder zeros on the end and we get 47,500. And then lastly, 91 times 10 squared or 10 to the second power, 10 times 10, this means 10 times 10, which is 100 and we get 9,100. So that's our mastery check for multiplying whole numbers by powers of 10. Hopefully you had at least six, seven, or maybe you were eight for eight out of that eight. That was your goal there. Um, so hopefully you did well. If you hit your mastery mark there, six, seven, or eight correct, you are ready for multiplying decimals by powers of 10, which is a little different. You can't just put use placeholder zeros. So I will see you over at multiplying decimals by powers of 10. I dropped the link below. See you over there. Thanks for watching.